knife hand. A knife hand is a very powerful strike that we use this part of the hand. I may get it close, the midi part, okay? Not close to the fingers because we can get hurt here. So what we do, we call it also chop hand, knife hand, doesn't matter, but it's a very powerful strike. Can be done from two different angles, technically three different angles. If I'm facing my opponent, we call it from inward. So you see, it's coming from inside, from outside to inside. Striking point, we like always soft tissue like the neck, very powerful. And the neck can be a very devastating, uh, the side of the neck a very devastating strike. Sometimes can be one strike, knocked down. There is a nerve called the vagus nerve that it connects all the way down and it connects many parts of our body for our even stability and consciousness. So you wouldn't be surprised, just a strike like this, mm. on that part here, you could see somebody pass down. Never train this on the neck, okay? Train always on pads because okay. you can have people passing out. Now, from here, of course, you can also go directly straight. Mm. You see, this is another way. Or can be also from this way. So, one or two, and it can be a combination, one, two. Okay. That's very powerful, one, two. All straight to the front trachea. This is a very soft tissue area. Now we have a different problem here. We can put enough pressure of five pounds or more, can technically crush this cartilaginous area. Mm -hmm. And then that person must have a surgery to get back to <laughs> breathe again. So be careful, this is not something we would use for just somebody, you know, give you a bad compliment or maybe just slapping you around and you know that's not deadly. This is something that we consider a deadly or at least a serious strike for serious danger. So one, two, the two different angles and then from the side of the neck straight to the trachea. Now, let's practice a little bit with Rich, okay? okay. Not on my neck, please. Oh, okay. that's so, right. So we do it here. First of all, Let's use your right hand, okay. okay, gently. I want to make sure you get the right part of your hand, okay? Remember, good. Your body, your rotation of your hips, yes. same story. Okay. You relax until you strike. Another little tip, before you strike, just before you strike, you, when you got, in this case, your right hand, rotate a little bit of an angle, okay? okay? Slowly, not too much power, okay? Just do it the right way. That would be very hard on the neck. That would be a knockdown. Okay. Again. Good. Now, I want you to do one and then two. Okay? Okay. Good. Now, just give me the other one. Good. See, now you have both sides, mm -hmm. both angles. Again. Good. Now, think about this is my throat. Okay. okay? So now, you can go here. Okay? And that would be vertical. But ideally, when you go to the throat, you gotta go here. Oh. So it's gonna be here. Oh. Okay? Ready? All right, beautiful. Now, we're gonna do a little drill on the mannequin, okay? This drill, we're gonna focus on one, two. Now, be careful. If you hit with the finger, close to the finger, you will hurt. Oh. It's very important that you got the midi part okay. of your hand. So slowly first, one, Two. You see the movement of your hips. Go. Okay. One, two. Good. Slowly. Don't want to get hurt. One, two. Good. That would be a knockdown right there. Okay. Okay. Now start with the other one. Right and left. Okay. Now remember. So you see that this kind of when you do this case, it doesn't work. And this is okay. Let's practice. Okay. If I do this, I gotta move inside and, and outside. Outside. But let's say one, two. Okay. I change angle. One, two. Now I go straight to the throat. Side throat. Side throat. Okay. okay. One, two. So we can do one, two to the side or one, two to the front. Okay. Okay. Just gently. Not too much power. One, two. two. That's okay. But to the side. Now one to the side one. and change angle two. to the throat. Now, when you go to the throat, though, you have to step, step in. in and be sure you got the right angle, okay? Good. Okay. Hands open, try to hit with the midi part of the bottom, okay? All right. Now, another drill.
little practice, you know, the first time she's doing it, so she's doing great, okay? But you, she will understand slowly, slowly, that every time she hit too close to the fingers, will hurt. So the movement is, when I go from outside to inside, I move with my hips, relax till it's quiet, and rotate the last second. When I move from outside to inside with this other arm, look at my hips, opposite direction. Okay? Now there is a little drill, it's really not something that may be realistic, but it's good to practice. It's called three strikes or six strikes in one second. Okay. So let's say from here, one, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Then you can do six. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. So what is this for? First of all, it's fun. Okay? You can start to push your limits. Normally I like to get a timer and this drill I like to do six strikes in one second. It's a really nice drill. Give you agility and start to give you coordination. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll do this one more time slowly. I don't want to spend too much time. Watch the video. And when you got it, let me know. That would be something that you can do. But start with the three. One, side. Two, I am facing forward. This hand goes up. Look, when, when the, both hands are up. One, and this hand is up, protect. Two, this hand is up, protect. Three, now I'm stepping on the side, this protect. So one, two, three. My body needs to move. I don't want to stay static. Because ideally, I want to avoid the potential fight. One, two, three. That's the three strikes. The six strikes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Simple as that. Okay? Now, let's do one time with a little bit of time. Okay? Okay? 